Welcome back to Blue Fire, everyone. Getting ready to start another episode. I guess the game puts you back into the last checkpoint. Uh, that's not something I've noticed. Because I was at that uh, sewer area at the end of the last episode. But whatever, we can make it back. It ain't, it ain't no thing. Uh, in today's episode of Blue Fire, I have no idea what's going to happen. We're going to move on with the game. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. That's the second time I've tried killing an NPC. But that's okay. This ain't Dark Souls. Uh, this game is a little bit more forgiving with how you treat your NPCs. And I've been treating them like shit, so what the fuck? <laughs> Alright then. Alright then, your boy is not on a roll, as you can see for some reason. Well, we gotta get that fixed. ASAP. So anyways, this is where we came from, or where we went, more specifically. And there was one area that I wanted to check out in this, like, sewer. And you know which one I'm talking about. Uh, that, like, bottom, because I think that's the way forward. Like, if I had to guess a way forward, my guess would be this. Oh, by the way, I'm, like, fucking hanging on a thread. Oh, wait, but this is... This ain't gonna work. Is it? Yeah, we established that. It's only been, like, three days since the last episode, and I've already forgotten everything. Like... I keep falling into acid. You don't have to reactivate this, cool. Okay, so then we get out of here, I think. Because this might not be where we need to go. So yeah, I am hanging on by a thread because my switch controller is about to die, or was about to die at the start, so I had to like plug it in. But because of the new kind of face cam setup, I am like, I really have forgotten how to play this game. Because of the new, this new kind of face cam setup, I have to be in like a certain position. And as I said, I am hanging on by a thread. Luckily, the controller is not 100% dead. So if I get the disconnect... Oh, come on. Seriously? There we go. Saved myself. Yeah, these, these pipes are annoying because they are very, very slippery. So... See, that's the problem, like, your character... Oh, thank fuck for that. Your character... Oh, shit. Your character has a lot of momentum. Uh, the way he walks, so... This ain't exactly... A walk in the park. But, as we've established... Someone like me who has... Years of... 90s platformer experience. This is a piece of cake. Fucking hell. Okay. Suicide bombers. So I'm just trying to get back to the top area. This might be pointless. But... Climb up, bitch. No! Oh, come on. Are you fucking with me? I'm saying fuck a lot today. Uh, apologies for being so, like, vulgar. I really didn't expect to be put back all the way here. I really thought the game would give me a, a hand. More specifically, a check. You know, I'm, I'm really about to die, so... How about we, like, get out of here? And we go back to the checkpoint, because I think this ain't gonna work. So before I get my ass killed over something stupid, let's just like, you know, take a minute here. I'm sure we can figure out where to go. I think. We got that book collecting quest line, which I don't think I can progress with because I definitely... Okay, I tried. I just tried killing you again. He looks so much like an enemy. 
I can all, I'm almost blaming him for looking that much like an enemy. Yeah, I think we have some other opciones here. Because... Like right there. Exactly. Saint. Saint the end of the road. Book. Yep. Which puts us at... If I can navigate the inventory of this game. Four. So we need one more. One more and we Gucci right here. And I think I see it right there. Abandoned path. Okay, so it's not locked. I was fully expecting that to be locked. Shit, can you make that? Yes, you can. Oh, it's a void. Thank you. I thought it was a book. I would have been more happy if it was a book. Oh, this is a nice looking one. I'm down with this challenge. Borisa's... Borisa? It sounds like like female version of Boris. Interesting. Uh-oh. Is there some wall jump mechanic that I don't have unlocked yet? To me, it seems like there might be. Because, like, realistically. I think that's what's going on. It doesn't look like... Like, that hitting that thing and then we'd, like, bounce off the walls or something would make sense. But I do not have... Currently... A wall jump mechanic. That might change, though, by going down this abandoned path. I mean, hey, no other way but forward, right? I am actually recording. Okay, I am actually recording. Gotta check sometimes. What about audio? I am recording audio as well. Abandoned path. This is where this... Uh, oh, yeah, this is where this ends. I was just about to say... Okay, <clears throat> I wonder if there's a game fax for this game. About to pull that shit up. Okay, there we go. You can just barely make it. Definitely gonna save after that. So, the path, I think that's the one. We just gotta somehow make it back. That upstairs path was definitely a thing, I just didn't... I wasn't, like, willing to take it. I mean, like, hope, but then, hmm. It doesn't look like you could make that, though. I think you can make that. And this is real bad, because now I'm stuck here without... Hmm. Alright then. This is turning into a bit of a shit show. I'm probably gonna edit a lot of this out, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Because ain't nobody wanna be watching this. That's for sure. Although people do like to see me fail. Uh, which is a thing. I think we actually have to go around. There's no other way. I'm gonna have to do that, yeah. Definitely. Because that's the only way to, like, properly get to where we want to go. Okay, so it's... What I was about to say is, surprisingly, it's much easier to do precision platforming when you're not babbling into a microphone. And I don't think I could have proven my point any better than that.
See, the issue is you're, you're so fucking slippery on these pipes that it's incredible. I think I made it. Yeah, I did. Cool. That was not easy. That was not definitely not easy. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, that's the thing, again, it's the slipperiness, which... I know that slippery platforming is kind of a hallmark of shitty games. If you've been listening to AVGN these past decades, he has made that very clear. But, no, this game, this game is good. It's just, yeah, that's kind of annoying. Those pipes were like the first thing that were like slippery like that. This is where I wanted to go. I have a strong suspicion that this might be, might be because I there's really nowhere else. So if this ain't it either, uh, game facts time. Oh shit, Temple Gardens. And the question is, can you make that? Nope, this ain't it either. Oh shit. Interesting that it plays the cutscene act. Probably because I, I hit some like mission trigger I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, I'm using terms like mission trigger now. It's my new thing. This ain't it either. Fuck, okay. Um, I don't know where to go. Okay, this is, we got some lore here. I'm speaking to this guy. Long time ago, there were five gods. These gods gave birth to Penumbra. Created hope for the living in return for such deed. The people of Penumbra built great temples to honor the gods. Five temples for five gods. At peace, the gods embraced their temples and the temples became their... This is not going to be like an essay, right? You see, before their eternal slumber, the gods had given birth to a queen. Queen ruled the land. Interesting. It broke through. It found the castle. I was guessing that. Swordsman, it was my task to tell you this tale. The needle is never wrong. However, it is up to you to discover why. May the queen be with you. Well, thank you. Umbasa or something like that. I think I may have found something. A bad example. Which means, if this is it, I am officially blind and an idiot, but yeah, okay, I am both of those things. Even if there ain't shit here, there's definitely gonna be a book. Okay, okay, never mind, I'm blind, I'm blind. I think that's been established before, so are we really surprised? Hopefully not. Finally. This is what I've been waiting for. Progress. Forest Shrine. The areas do look nice in this game. Very nice, actually. It's a nice little dungeon. Metroid-ish. Metroid Prime specifically. Oh shit. Is that a new power up? Fierce oh Nuos. Fierce warrior travels swiftly through the endless night. You have come. As the corruption has spread throughout my temple. Oh, okay. This is Zelda more like. And this is how you get your Yeah, this is full Zelda. 
I ask of you, warrior, make headway deep into my grotto. Grotto? That's such a nice word. Sounds like a plan. Grotto is like Final Fantasy IX. That's what it always reminds me of. Gizamaluke or whatever it's called. Destroy the forest corruption. I got you, fam. Don't even sweat it. Dungeons? I'm an expert in dungeons. Oh, look at these enemies. Holy shit. I like these guys. See, I almost, almost wonder if you can go down there, but it looks like there's water there. Which is pretty insta-kill in this game. Nice. Change water. Uh oh. Okay. Do we have a water temple situation on our hands? I think we might do. Okay, so I'm gonna need to like assess the situation before I screw up anything. Before I start messing. But I feel like it's going to be unavoidable. Yeah. I see how you roll, game. I see how you roll. Hopefully it's not gonna be like a full water temple type deal. Because I fucking hate that dungeon. Yeah, I mean, this game is like very... This is very Zelda-ish. Specifically, for some reason, it reminds me of the one everyone hates, which is Skyward Sword. Maybe it's the color palette. I don't know. This, this dungeon in particular has a very Skyward Sword color palette to it. But just this one. I mean, it's not like I've seen the other ones. Old key. Isn't that what we need to that other... No, that's a graveyard key. That's what we need. Oh, look, it's a triple... Whoa, shit. Okay. I see how you roll. You can still eat shit. I'm liking this game more and more, honestly. This, like, dungeon... This, like, really... Like, grabbed me. Because... I love these types of games. These, like, Zelda... Kind of nostalgic-ish games. If that wasn't obvious already. Interesting place. Bruh. Alright, hold on a second. Gotta be on the lookout for things like you can jump onto or off of or whatever. Now the question becomes, how do I get the hell out of here? Specifically, how I get to the other side. There's a water lever there. I'm assuming that's the one we need to pull. I think I must be, I must be missing something in this room. Again, looks like somewhere you could, like, wall jump. If we had the wall jump. I mean, assuming that whatever the claw is gonna be. That sounds like something you'd be able to wall jump off of. A wall jump with. And a wall run. 
Yeah, that's gonna be... That's gonna be the trick here, and I think I know where we need to go. Yep. Okay, I got you. I wonder if it's really gonna do the Zelda thing where you get the item like halfway through and then you have to solve the rest of the dungeon with the actual item. I do like that aspect of Zelda kind of dungeon design. I think I get a ton of money too here. That's what these ores are basically. Not many options here. Combat. Oh, these guys are bitches though, so that's... It's not too big of an issue. Especially when they're not floating above a cliff, you know. Now see, now this is the this is the dilemma. Which one do you use it on? I'm assuming whatever one you do, use it on. Okay, that's a holy key. That's the other option. You could use different keys. We have more combat. I mean, and listen, this is a the combat system of this game isn't like particularly deep, you know. Don't expect fucking like Neo right here. But I think that's not the point. Yeah, kill your fucking buddy. Don't like that, do you? Let me guess, we're gonna get a holy key. If I had to take a gander. This looks like a whole. Yep. I was gonna say, that looks like a chest that would hold a holy key. That's key. Nice. Ooh, is that gonna be it? I think this is gonna be it. Yep, Nuos is close. An ancient set of claws created by Nuos himself. They're said to give its carry the ability to walk and jump on. Yup, 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 yup. Jump against wall. Press B while wall running. Nice. Holy shit. You have like this little stamina meter which indicates. I am going to like this. Because it solves every question. Every question I had. And it solves also how you do that uh, that puzzle area that I couldn't do before. So it's cool, like... That it's... Uh, the whole game is a little bit more deep. Okay, you just need to be careful with running out. Okay. I need to get like a good camera angle on this. Oh, come on, grab it, bitch. Shit. Don't worry about me failing. Oh, that would have been it too. I'm an idiot. Yeah, you do gotta still hold it down. To kind of control your jump height. That's way at the start, right? I think so. Ah, almost. It's okay, I can go back the normal way. I'm not too picky. 
I honestly thought that this area was gonna be like full water puzzle based. It turns out not really. Forest Guardian, a Hemo descendant of Nuos, these guardians were set to protect the forest from other. Cr oh, this is a spirit. What do you do? Increases movement speed. Okay. Got you, fam. I think I don't have that other one equipped either, because I'm stupid. I bought it, but I'm like... Pretty sure I didn't equip it. So I was just about to say that a shrine would be nice right about now. I guess so. I see, I see. Is that a shrine? That's not a full shrine. And that's one of these things. These challenges. Kinda got blasted there, whatever. Arigo's challenge. How about an Arigo's shrine? Can we like... I think we can do this. And then that's gonna be like the... End to this. Nice, it's raining. Looks cool. I'm assuming this is going to utilize the new... Never mind that. Utilize the newly acquired war running techniques. Oh, come on. I almost saved my ass there too. That's just like a normal platform. Just wait for it. Sometimes that's all it takes. There we go. Because yeah, you gotta be careful to actually grab your things. I'm not sure I did there. I did not. That's no worries because it looks like you have almost infinite stamina here. Void or interesting. Which makes it a little bit different to the main game. I guess in terms of like training you to use your abilities, it's pretty good. It really seems like sometimes I fail at the easiest thing. Z. Oh, come on! <laughs> it's a shame it looks like there is no way to um, kind of self... It's like to jump on the same wall. You need something to bounce off of. Yeah, see, you can't, like, you have too much momentum. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. You need to be, like, right at the edge. I can't believe this is the thing I'm failing at. Am I gonna reach that? No, I'm not. Anyways, I have quite a bit to edit out from this episode anyways, so... It ain't no thing. I love the noise he makes. Oh, oh. There we go. That wasn't that difficult. Shouldn't have been. Now we're on a roll. Easy. 
Easy. Easy money. The only question is, what happens now when I get out of here? Does the game actually save? I'm really hoping it does, because I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Um, this is a fun one. I'm liking this dungeon. Uh, again, extremely zelda age but that's kind of... We knew that from the start that this game is Zelda-inspired. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Blue Fire. If you did, as always, like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual. Take care, everyone, and peace out. Goodbye.